If you're a business or an organization that does any of your own merchandise, give me the next two or three minutes of your life and I'll quickly explain the features and functions of Rico's new RI100 garment printer. Come with me and I'll show you very quickly how it works. I'll quickly show you what the machine looks like. So if you come over here, you've got a desktop machine. It's got two components. The first component is going to be the printer. So you can see that's this component here and the bottom component is an oven. So essentially, this is going to be the device that cooks the print and sets the ink into the garment after you finish printing. The shirt is loaded into a tray, as you can see here. And once you're ready to print, you can print straight from your normal desktop or laptop PC. Let's have a quick look how the machine works. So I can grab any photo, it can be something on the computer or I can take a photo now. Let me just snap a quick photo. And then we're gonna send the photo off to the computer and then we can print straight from there. So let's just do that now. So from here, we're gonna import the image via the Rico Smart app. This comes with it for free. I'll just show you as we go. So you can see here, we've got an application on the desktop. We're just gonna quickly select that it's a T-shirt. We'll add the image. So we've already downloaded this to the computer. We'll select that image. Gorgeous. Now we just want, want to rotate that a few times and we'll expand it so it's full size. You don't want to waste any of that. There we go. So we're ready to go. So we're going to hit print. And that's going to transfer it to the printer. Now we've got two steps to do from here. We have to throw this tray in. So this is our tray and we're just going to set it straight in there. So the tray's in and ready to go. So we're just going to hit the start key. This guy here. And in she goes. So as we fast forward in time, and it has been a few minutes now, you can see that we've got our print ready here. So let's just rip this guy out. What do you think? That's pretty nice. So what we'll do now is we're just going to chuck that in the oven. And we're gonna cook that for three minutes. Now that is adjustable. You can see that there's a short, a medium, and a long time frame. The longer we cook it for, the better it'll set the ink, which means the more times we can wash it before we really need to worry about it. So it's completely up to you, but on a print like that, if you're taking about three minutes to print one, and then you're gonna take about three minutes to cook it, there's probably a good chance it's going to have one printing while you're cooking the next one. So that's gonna mean you can push out a print roughly every three minutes. So you may as well leave it on approximately three minutes. We'll give that a few minutes and come back to you. So now that the shirt's cooked, we can open it back up. And pull him out. And let's have a squeeze at it. So we just open up the tray and we can untuck the shirt. And that there is your finished product. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who really wants that printed on their shirt? Well, apart from my mum, probably nobody. But if you consider the concepts of that as something that you might be able to run for like a school sports day, a promotional event, an event stand, there's lots of applications for that. The other really cool thing is that print costs about a dollar. So the ink usage of that will set you back about a dollar. Um, and as, as something that's going to cost you a dollar, it's pretty efficient, only takes a few minutes, has lots of applications. So it's worth a good look. If you want any more information on the product, hit me up on the links below and I'm happy to talk to you about it.